right, so today we've got our new X7 Siemens control coming through the door. We wanted to show you everything. When we get these things in, it gives you kind of a good idea. They'll either come in a box truck or they're gonna come on a flatbed. We got ours in a box truck and look at how we're getting it off. All right, we got our X7 finally on the floor. And we'll see how long this one lasts. You know, every time we get one in, Keith tries to sell it. So if you're looking to purchase one of these yourself, hit Keith up at the link below at titansandcnc.com. Looks like the X5's here. All right, buddy. Getting delivery day number two. Here comes our X5, both with Siemens control. I know you love the Siemens. Oh yeah, absolutely. I've run a lot of stuff, man. I've run Fanec, Haas, Mazak, Akuma. I've run about every control out there, it seems like. The Siemens is by far my favorite. I say this all the time. It's like, it's more like what you're gonna see in your everyday use nowadays, like your phone, your tablet, more like what we're used to seeing every day in today's world. Okay guys, here we are. We got our new styles with the Siemens control and I am telling you, these things are amazing. We have sold a ton of these this year and the customer feedback with accuracy, reliability has been amazing. We are Titans of CNC, the US distributor. If you want one of these, if you want any more information, reach out, go to titansofcnc.com. Okay, so Jesse with the new Siemens control, the C numeric 828D, give them a few little pointers on how good this thing is. So this thing is awesome because like a lot of people may not realize this, but the 828D and the 840D is the same exact platform. So that 8000T over there that we got is basically the same control that we're seeing here on this machine. Obviously touch screen as well, so that's pretty cool. So we got the menu select button. You also have one here on your con control panel, but this takes you to all the different screens. It's very clean, a very sleek setup. If you see me do videos on the 5,000, the 8,000, it's the same setup here. We got 16 tools. We can also have them outside the machine. So if you just watched that video we just did with the making of the pie jaws, I showed you how to do a manual tool change when the tool is outside of the carousel. This is gonna come in really handy for this machine if you're having to put in tools manually. You'll know how to do that and you'll see how easy it is. So go check out that video. And if you didn't see that video, it's probably because you're not subscribed. So go ahead and do that now so you don't miss any videos in the future. And if you want to know how these things could get built out or optioned up, we got this thing loaded. It has got the fourth axis rotary. It's got the spindle probe. It's got the tool setter and the 16 position side mount tool changer. This thing is ready to roll. And if you're wondering how these things cut, 30 taper machine, Titan cut Monel with this thing right out of the gate. like this are not supposed to be able to cut this and and I don't expect or want you guys to actually cut this material on this machine but I just wanted to see if we could make chips and see if we could actually do it with the right speeds and feeds and the right tools Sounds abrasive. Oh, yeah. It just Clearly. sounds abrasive. 